Welcome to a new video by Star Academy and in this one I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make money using PBNs. Now for those of you who don't know, a PBN stands for Private Block Network or basically a website that in the past had authority in Google's eyes but is now not owned by anyone. I've used these websites to increase my rankings because like anything that has authority in Google's eyes, it most probably has a good amount of link juice. It is debatable whether or not you should use PBNs. In my opinion, if you're experienced and have learned well enough about them, then you should definitely at least check them out. If not, don't go near them. If you have knowledge on PBNs, what you can do is end up selling them to people on marketplaces, but only do that if you understand PBNs and know how to estimate their value correctly. If you want to find out more, go to Source University and learn there because that's where I learned and I don't want to screw anybody over by not giving them the full picture on how things go. On this video, I'm going to show you guys a way on how you can scrape good PBNs. Subscribe if you want more. Now it's time for the sexy intro. Enjoy. For this video, we're going to use multiple free tools and one optional paid tool. And of course, I'm going to use this shitty meme at the start because I lack creativity. We're going to use the Mozbar's Chrome extension, which is free, as well as Zenu's Link Sleuth, Dynadot's Book Domain Checker, and Web Archive's History Checker. The optional pay tool is called Majestic SEO. You most probably have heard about it if you've done SEO. And I'll tell you how you can get some free checks in if you're a cheap bastard like me. Links to all of these will be in the description. What we're going to do now is choose a good keyword, a keyword that with we're going to find a good PBN. Now beforehand, before you start this, what you need to have in mind is your own niche, a niche for your PBN. And uh, for me, I'm going to use rock, rock as in music, but I got Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So the first thing you're going to do is after typing the keyword is go to tools. From here, you're going to click on this, go to custom range and type in 2K and 2008. The reason why we do this is we try to find websites that are much older because if we had this set on to this date, we would only be shown websites that are from this date or something near this date, maybe 2014. But we don't need that because to find these PBNs, they need to be expired. So basically to find them, what we're gonna do is go to 2K to 2008 and we're most probably going to find something good, a good PBN. Now, what you're going to do first as a keyword, you're going to type in plus links to any keyword that you might have. The reason for that is, is because if we type plus links, what's going to get shown to us is our first keyword, rock, and most definitely links has got to be in there. Because as you can see, you have rock links. You have it here too, rock links, rock links, and it keeps on going on and on. Because I said rock music, we're not gonna click on this, but if you wanted to find minerals, you can click here. Now, why did I type in links? Because I typed in links, most probably we're going to be taken to a page of a website, of an old website, as you can see, this is 2001, and to a page that links out to other websites that are related to this one, that are in the same niche. So what we're going to do first is click on the website and we're going to get something like this, an old website with a lot of links because that's what we searched for. And now I'm gonna give you guys some tips on what to look for and what to do. First thing you gotta look for is for the site itself to have a lot of links and for them to be old because look at this, Rolling Stone, VH1, other sites that I may know, Billboard. All of these sites are well known and basically the tool that we're going to use, which is Xenu, is going to look up and see for us automatically if these sites uh, don't have a host these days. But we basically know that Billboard has a host, iMusic definitely has a host, Rolling Stone definitely has one because it's a famous brand and it own, somebody owns it. Now, what we're going to do is go to a website that I already know has good results that I can demonstrate to you how it should look like. That is rock bands plus links. What we're gonna do is click on the second page and go to this website. I already found this website, I know it's good and I know it has these good links so I don't waste your time. 
what we're going to do now is see one by one that all of these are old websites. And what the tool is going to do for us, it's going to show us which of these don't have a host. And when you find something like this, you basically struck gold. Because look at it. I don't have no idea which of these websites are, who these bands are, and this is really good for us because all you see down here are links, 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 and we're bound to find something. Now, a little tip about the tool. What's going to happen is it doesn't just go through these links, but it also goes through these links, and it's going to tell us if it has a host. And that's not too good because it's going to be wasting time on processing if this has a host because we already know that these have a host, but the tool is still going to go through these. We're only interested in these ones. So as a tip, try to find websites that only have links like this, that don't have interlinking to the same website because we already know that they have a host. What we're going to do now is go straight to the tool to show you what's going to happen next so you can have a better idea of what the fuck I'm talking about. Once you find the gold mine, what you're going to do next is copy the link. And you're going to go to the tool. Now, this is Xenu Link Sleuth. You can download it from the description, like I said, and the way you use it is like this. But before that, let me just show you my preferences. This is what I have it set up on. Try to have it in the same way. I don't think this was the default option. So what you're going to do next is go to file and you're going to click on check URL. You're going to paste in the link that you found and you're going to click on OK. Now what's going to happen is you're going to wait a long ass fucking time depending on uh, how many links were interlinking with the page and how many links you have on this website. And as you can see it says no such hosts. And the way you set it up this way is you have this checked. I don't think by default this is checked, so what you're going to go to is view and press on show broken links only. And as you see these results popping up, what you're going to want to check up is these ones. No such host. And no. No such hosts. No such host. You don't want these not found because they're not useful to us. But these are because what this basically is saying to us is that there's no host found for these. No. And now what you're going to do is wait some time before this is done. And after this is done, I'm going to tell you what you're going to do next. No. Now that it's over, what you're going to do is press on no. What we're going to do next is go to file. And from here, we're going to press on export to tab separate file. Now file name, you can have it as anything you want. So let's just say test. And now that this is open up, what we're going to do next is copy all of this. We're going to open Excel. And what we're going to do now is paste in everything. Now what we truly need out of all of this is these ones, just the links. So we're going to be collecting all of them. And as far as I know, I think we can only paste in 1,000 at the book domain checker. So this is pretty good that it's not above 1,000. And you're going to copy them. You're going to go to the book domain checker and paste them in. And what we're going to do now is click on I entered complete domain names with TLDs. Now it's going to take a little bit of time before it loads all of them up because what's going to happen is, is Dynadot's book domain checker is going to check if these are available for you to buy. And right now it is done. And what it's going to show us. First, these are those interlinks that I told you about that link out to the same website. And as you can see, it says error, error, error until we go and find some websites that don't have a host. As you can see, this one doesn't have one. It says available. As you go down, you have this one top dead center doesn't have a host and basically this is a gold mine because what we're going to do next is go to Majestic and check them all out and pick the best one. What I'm going to do basically is just because I know which one of these is the best one and I've tested them all out, I'm going to pick the one and I'm going to demonstrate to you what you should look for when checking out in Majestic which one to get. And also 
what you should do after you check on Majestic because you do need to see the history of that PBN. Welcome to Majestic and what we have here is a PBN from the list that we had in the past. Now what we're going to do with this is actually check out is it actually good. And the first thing that I usually look for if a PBN is good to see it first is the trust flow close to the citation flow and are they both above 10 or above 9 because I usually prefer my PBNs to have a trust flow of above 10 and citation flow of above 10. Now what other thing I look for is the topical trust flow. This is really key for me because I like my PBNs to be in the same niche as my money site. Now as we can see here it's in arts music, arts radio which is pretty good because let's say our money site is about rock and roll. Next what we see here is referring domains 8. I usually love to have mine above 9 or at least around 10 but it's not that big of a problem because I still like the trust flow and the citation flow we have here. What other things I look for? The anchor text. As you can see this is just King Voodoo. It hasn't been really spammed with anything with any exact anchor text. It's just the actual brand because as far as I found out, this is an actual band that existed once or maybe still exists, but I don't know why they gave up the website. Now what we're going to check out is the referring domains. And what I'm actually looking for here is to see are these domains about music. Other thing I'm, I'm going to want to see, are they anything spammy? Do they look suspicious? And usually I do that in the backlink section and when I go here, I do this. I check out if there is anything in Chinese, anything in Russian, anything that looks spammy and that has been used for SEO. As we can see here, this PBN is clean. Now, what I suggest for you guys, if you don't have Majestic, if you have a free account, you have five free tries. If you use them, just get a proxy and keep on doing that until you run out of five tries every single time and use another proxy. But... A better option is to actually buy Majestic and just have all of this because it's going to tell you about the topical trust flow which is really going to help with your rankings. Now what's the other thing that I do? After I take care of this I'm going to want to look at the actual domain authority and page authority. I do that from Moz. You can get the Moz bar uh, which works with Chrome but I like to do it this way. So what we have here is the main authority that's above 10 which is good and page authority that is above 10. It doesn't have spam score which is pretty good. Now the final thing that I do when scraping PBNs and when I find a PBN is this. I want to check out how it has been used in the past. Now I usually go in the middle first and then check out what the website actually looked like. This is not only going to help us know if this website has been used to spam or has been spammed or even has been legit, but it's also going to help us how it looked in the past so we can mimic that because that is useful when doing SEO with PBNs. The more the PBN looks the same that it looked in the past, the more the bigger the chance that you're not going to get penalized by Google. So let's check it out. Let's click on this snapshot. And as we can see here, what we have is the actual website of this band, King Voodoo. Now, as you can see, the CD track listing, it's basically a legit website. I've already checked all of these out, and don't worry, it's a good website. If you want, you can pick it up. I don't really need it. And that is basically it. That's how you can go and scrape PBNs. This doesn't take for you to buy an expensive, really expensive tool for $200 and to scrape PBNs that way. This is the method. It takes a bit of time to get used to it and a bit of time to get good at it. But when you do, you're going to find really good domains. What I suggest you do after this is go to Conquer IO or to any other SEO marketplace. And if you're good at finding PBNs and correctly valuing them, what you can do is sell those PBNs there. If you're not that good at setting them up yourself. If you're good, definitely use them because if I had a rock website, I would definitely use this PBN. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, do anything because more good content like this is going to come. See you in the next video.